Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today we are going to talk about my team selection from game week 20. And before we start, sorry, sorry for not posting any videos during this period. It was a very hectic period. I was so busy and couldn't post many videos. Hopefully we are back today and hope we can go for upcoming game weeks. I'm still not sure if we can post videos for the incoming game weeks. But hope and it's my pleasure to be back with you and host more videos before we start let's talk about my game week 19 score and team doing the best game week uh, for me are you like Golos, the superhero and got a great performance against arsenal two saves points and two bonus points to 10 points Alexander arnold despite being booked he got a three bonus points and got eight points gabriel and anderson are frustrating pedro poro with an assist and two bonus points and in midfield Salah blanket when I captained him Son with an assist Saka frustrating Watkins one of one of the poorest game week ever for him Solank and Archer did well adding Gra on bench for zero points unfortunately he was injured and couldn't feature against Tottenham if he started he would get some decent points but now time over i'll think about game week 20. game week 20 remember remember us of game week three fixtures as the same fixtures when chelsea beat luton by three goals Spurs beat bournemouth but i think bournemouth in a better form and Solanke in a better form these game weeks arsenal against fulham i think fulham was uh, lucky score two goals against arsenal in this game Brentford and Crystal Palace, Everton in a better form and with them to score against Wolves, Manchester and Nottingham Forest will be an open game. West Ham and Brighton another open game. Man City against Sheffield United is the team and Fisher to target for this game week. Aston Villa against Burnley is another Fisher to target and Liverpool should beat Newcastle United at home. So Ariola will be my goalkeeper for this game week. Start him. And hope for another decent performance against Brighton. Hope for some safe point from Brighton attacks. Starting clean sheets odds for this game week. I think uh, Man City is the best team for expensive clean sheets this game week. They are predicted to score clean sheets by 61%. First is second against Bournemouth, but I'm not sure if they can keep a clean sheet against Bournemouth. As for Villa, the third, Chelsea, the fourth against Luton, but in my opinion, Man City, Aston Villa, Chelsea are the best three teams to keep a clean sheet. Even Arsenal can keep a clean sheet against Fulham. Personally, I I noticed that Fulham in a better form when I'm playing at home and can get at least one goal against Arsenal. So this is the best team to target defensively for this game week regarding uh, the best teams in attacking perspective. I think Man City is the best team to target as well. He's the best odds for scoring goals this game week Spurs the second Arsenal the third Liverpool the fourth I think this is the best four or five teams target for this game week so personally I think Man City game Arsenal Aston Villa are the best three fixtures target for this game week regarding my defenders I think I'm giving Gabriel another chance when he faces Fulham Arsenal top for expected goals conceded followed by Man City and Liverpool but unfortunately, Arsenal kept only one clean sheet in these last six game weeks. I'm giving Gabriel another chance for sure. And if we look at the top defenders for expected goals involvement, it looks like Trebiar is the first for 6.1. Petro Boro is the second for 6. And Cash and Trent Alexander Arnold is the third for 5.3. Expected goals involvement regarding best defenders for big chance created. Looks like Trent John are the best at the top defender for big chances created with 12 big chances created during the, this season. Trebier is the second for 10. Boro is the third by 8 big chances created. Uh, fortunately, and I'm so grateful to have two of Trent John Arnold and Pedro Boro. I have both of them. They are always in the top defenders regarding expected goals involvement and big chances created. Or the expected assist and expected goals. I'm very satisfied to own both of them. Both of them are great funders to own. Unfortunately, we don't have many clean sheets recently, but I'm confident that getting attacking defenders can be helpful and they get you some attacking points and bonus points in this when there is no enough clean sheets nowadays. Boro is the third best defender for shots inside the box as well. Boro has 15 shots inside the box. Only Cash and Virgil van Dijk are better than him with 18 and 19 respectively. 
they are very good vendors Pedro Boro and Arjan Olas I consider them essentials for every every manager so basically they are my three vendors for this game week on my watch list for game week 21 it will be Stubinian Stubinian back finally there is the injury and scored against them the man is very attacking and has a great run of fixture Start from game week 20 at West Ham United. After that, he has Wolves, Luton, Crystal Palace, Tottenham, and Sheffield United. Very good and very tempting fixture. Another one on my watch list, another defender on watch, on watch list for game week 21 will be Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker started every single game week for Man City this game week this season, and he is the most secured among Man City defenders. Man City are overwhelming favorites for are the best teams for clean sheets this week and for upcoming and most likely a double game week in game week 21. They had a habit of conceding in recent times, but their underlying stats are very good, very excellent. Both of Arsenal and Man City have great pending stats but unfortunately they are not keeping many clean sheets but expecting them to get some clean sheets in upcoming game week for listing my midfielders i start with salah and son as my main midfielder but this will remind us of the afcon and asian cup game week 21 it will be the final game week for both of salah and son before leaving for their national teams, I think uh, we should put in mind selling Salah and Son in game week 21 and getting Haaland back. Mostly in game week 21, it will be three transfers essential for most of us. The use of two free transfers to buy early hand and selling Salah and Son will be critical the next game week. So almost I want to roll, I have two free transfers and want to roll one of them for the next game week. So I'm giving the last chance for Salah and Son and will be mostly uh, a hit minus four points in game week 21 to sell both of them and get early Callan back. Balmar finally back from suspension and has a great form. Kunku's back helps a lot and Chelsea attacking style is better when Kunku is in the pitch and starting Balmar against Luton which is a great facial target and great game for Balmar and I hope he can get some attack returns. Saka I think it's such an easy hold at the moment. Most of you have Haaland to get back and alongside selling Salah and Son. I think there is no chance to sell Saka. I'm giving him another chance and hope he can get some, atta some uh, attacking turn against Fulham. Fulham is a leaky team and Saka should have some return against them. It's not a priority transfer to do when you plan for your team. I think there are much more priority transfers to make. Selling Saka seems unnecessary to this. Him and points come. Adingra is my last midfielder and I think I get him because of uh, his budget he is only 5.0 million midfielder and has so I got uh, him and get, give me a goal uh, around 9-10 points uh, in game week 19 maybe in game week 17 mostly uh, I think um, he is, be, will be my transfer this game week. I will sell him uh, mostly for one of the two fields on my watch list. I was thinking of Bowen. I was thinking about Bowen, Foden and Richarlison. But after the poor performance from Richarlison yesterday, he is not my transfer uh, currently. And I'm not sure about the Tottenham performance after soon leaving for Asia. So Richarlison will not be my target. It will be between Bowen and Foden. Foden has a great fish against Sheffield United in game week 20 and has a potential of a double game week in game week 21 but I'm not sure about his availability for game week 21 it will be after maybe two weeks and still can't trust it and we can get Erling Haaland and Kevin De Bruyne back we'll get mini and headache to people so mostly We'll wait for game week 21 deadline which is after two weeks Bowman will be my transfer at Dengra I think Bowen is a great talisman, great performance, even against big teams. Has a great fixture in the next three game weeks. I'm giving him uh, my free transfer this game week and rolling another one for the next game week. Erling Haaland isn't in my squad till now. He isn't even the squad tonight. Big Guardiola so said that he's still not in the, with the team. He feels better, but he hasn't made one training session with us. Hopefully in January he can come back to us. So Erling Haaland won't be my transfer and will be, and I will delay getting him for this game week. Watkins was very disappointing the last game week against Man United. I'm keeping faith in him. Getting him another chance against the poor and leaky Burnley alongside Solanke, the great talisman of Bournemouth. I'm very happy I'm getting and got him for three weeks. Unfortunately, his goal was declined as the first game he got him. Then I got a hat trick from him and a goal last game week. Hopefully, he can score against Tottenham, the leaky Tottenham. 
uh, this game weak and without the captaincy I think Newcastle United conceded 11 goals in last game weeks I'm not happy with Son wide position as a left winger recently so it's basically between Salah and Son Salah is the best bet for those who don't own Alvarez I think and I prefer him to Son because of his high ceiling and Son is a great and high ceiling player but I don't feel he's as high as long as he plays wide the left side not centrally I think Richarlison's absence earlier helped him a lot but now Richardson is back and playing as a center forward. I think Salah will be better option than Son for me for this game, even against Newcastle. Not Newcastle as a poor form recently and exceeding many goals against Liverpool at Anfield. I'm confident that Liverpool will score, Liverpool will win, Salah will get some decent points. Regarding my bench, it's Turner, Anderson, Archer, and Taylor. Archer helped me a lot last game week. I got five points. Taylor helped me in my in some game weeks uh, when I used him to start in my starting 11. Thankfully, this is my final team selection for game week 20. So happy I'm back. So happy we are together. Hope we can repeat it and go for upcoming game week. Thanks guys for watching. Can you like, subscribe, find it helpful, and your comments are always welcome.